Hey everybody, Asher here. It's more Star Traders Frontiers and what is very exciting as we do have, that's correct, no cursor showing up on the screen, but that's okay. We are doing what I like to call the Crew Combat Clinic. Now, that's, eh, I wouldn't exactly say it's like a total clinic where I know everything, but I certainly know more than I used to because I did some research based on that nice bit of information that I got before. The mission that we have today is Wilderness Hunt. And there are some other missions that I have, including this overdue one where someone, the high prince of my faction, is just going to have to get over it. But this one I was kind of excited about last time. I'm kind of excited to start about it here. Because we have on uh, Captain Moore, a indie wilderness place. The next thing that we are going to be doing is drop down here. We're picking up exactly where we left off last time. We have a stash with some goodies here. But we also have... An opportunity to go for a mission here and we will possibly get rewards but more importantly we will find the criminals camp and it'll be time for the tale to take can I accept or use what I've learned in my research and looking at things while playing before instead of looking here totally clueless now the first thing we need to do is get rid of this Xeno card now these two aren't great but we do have a saving skill that's what this means reduced by crew protection components um, so we can do some of these and not have like things go terrible. Now, rare cargo and pirates seems cute, but I'm not really looking for that this time. All right, raw resources, that's really nice. We got um, 30 units of hydrocarbon crude. Well, that doesn't seem terribly difficult to find. I'm going to get rid of the week's loss thing here because I don't really like losing time. But see, this is how it goes sometimes, is that we keep trying, we keep trying to explore, we lose five days, we lose a few more days. Eventually we're going to get this, this number keeps pumping up, the trouble in the wilds, the mission success rate. That does keep pumping up, but you see, it got rid of a hurricane just with a card here, and here we go. Trouble in the wilds, our search has yielded results, and we have taken another step towards completing our assigned mission in this world. So we click on the mission button, the outlaws are here, we can try again later, or we can face them in battle. And if successful, we will get enough money to upgrade our um, weapons locker because we're pretty close there. That was kind of our goal, Tavor. It's an Asher video. That's right. So Captain Asher sitting on the bench, though. We do have our same combat team as last time. They're all doing pretty good. That blue bar should be morale. Uh, there are a few things that I'd like to improve. I'd rather have uh, a Tono Lear be the um, Pistolier. And you know, last I checked, I thought we were going to have, um, well, this should be okay. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, she's, I hate saying this about Sandy. She's a little disposable. Uh, she's just slot two soldier. We're going to be pumping in something there later, but we have Drevin over here. Oh, Drevin in the front, Drevin in the back. They're there. Like I said, they look the same. They talk the same. There's a whole song about that that I'm not going to repeat here. Let's fight. All right, so these guys should be more than the level one baddies. And you can see they have some fairly high initiative numbers, which is part of where we ran into the issue before of just how much damage we're taking here. So this is a level four pistolier, a level four soldier, a level four soldier, and a level four exoscout. So fascinating. Meanwhile, we have somebody who's already bleeding, which is very exciting. What I'm going to do here first, instead of doing the bio-agent flechette, we're going to do the steady mobility. This will use our initiative, but it will also, as, let's see, you have raining steel, which initiative, range damage, critical. I want to debuff that with my swordsman if I can. So we're going to try and take out Miss Shotty 5000 here. Um, and see, this this shot and this shot will, or this shot will buff me for later rounds, because this is going to be more than two things. And right away, we're at... 80 health. Thank you all for spreading the damage. Please don't... Please, I was about to say, please stop shooting my doctor. That would be great. So you can see we're already losing a lot of health. And that's... that. I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, this is kind of just what we're going to have to deal with here because these people are higher level than us. He's debuffed. He just killed my swordsman. He sunk my battleship. And we missed, which is probably the worst possible scenario. So our doctor's been shot. I mean, the question is, are we going to lose everybody here? Uh, apparently, see, that's the problem. I call this a clinic. Who's putting on the clinic? Not me. And we're right here. Our sniper is exposed. We can't use any of our abilities. Might as well just surrender. 
All right, so our combat team has laid down their weapons and surrendered. So what happened here? Um, other than getting beaten, everything crew reports was defeated. Uh, Trev and Muthan, the level 10 swordsman, was defeated but survived. Uh, gained a new trait, weak system. Officer, uh, the level 9 uh, doctor, hyperwarf navigator, was defeated but survived. Uh, we lost our level 5 exoscout, which is terrible. So we have three survivors, and the one person that I really kind of wanted to live through all this is dead. So, lovely. And we don't get our payday. We lost five rep. But that's part of where, um, you know, sometimes you've just got to... Well, I mean, there, there's no good way to put it. Sometimes you just don't get the cards. And uh, not just don't get the cards, but our people were leveled pretty low. So since we are kind of losing out on this thing here, I think what I am going to do, we have one officer that died. We're going to need to get another exoscout officer. We do have some money, but not tons of money. Um, we do have a swordsman with actually really good strength that we could promote. That might be interesting. So, I mean, the one problem is that we have our explorer officers that I want to keep. Quartermaster Smuggler Spy is very versatile and useful. Uh, Doctor Navigator, that's just not a great combo. And if we go, like, we do have one Pistolier that we could potentially upgrade. Hmm. And I, and I apologize here. I'm just trying to look through because now everything's shuffled out of order, because my crew keeps dying. But it's okay. We're uh, we're not in the we're not in the super bad place. Jean-Paul Molnek or whatever, actually does not have terrible stats, and he does have uh, some decent perks as well. But he wouldn't he wouldn't make a terrible doctor if I just wanted to upgrade him from within. So we could leave our people in the wilderness. We don't really have a lot of other missions right now. What's in our cargo bay? Grain. So maybe we drop off this grain and we see what we can get. Because right now, we definitely don't have the money to do this. So I was all excited to be like, hey, let's um, let's make this happen. And unfortunately, it happened. But that's fine. Like I said before, one of the things I really like about Star Traders is that it is rarely the end. Now, there are plenty of times where you can feel the wheels falling off on your run. But it doesn't mean things are over by any stretch of the imagination. So first off, what's our militating rating here? 10. So we could possibly get like a pistolier or something and just try to upgrade from there. I mean, one of the things that I just want to think about here is I'm sorry I cut off the sound. Um... And the reason I keep talking about that is that we do have swordsmen, we do have... Uh, lots of different possibilities for things to do here. And there's a few templates that are floating around here. The big thing is that we really don't need the navigation officer. Our navigation is literally off the charts on the ship. So... Do we just ditch, ditch this officer now? Maybe. Maybe we do that. Maybe we promote from within. We still want to get an exoscout sniper. I just think it's going to be Amanda Pratchett that we get rid of, which sucks because Quartermaster Spy, we've actually got some pretty decent talents here, but with exploring, which is going to be our primary function, we have so much crew combat that we got to do that I'm, I'm really going to need to just build up like an officer base of things. So we're not going to ditch our doc. Well, we are. You know, it's been, it's been real. You're like the fourth doctor we've had, and now you're gone. You're fired. Um, you've done good. You'll do good for yourself in the future. What talents are we losing out on here? Uh, black market talent, which is useful. Uh, hideout, which sucks that we're losing. But, you know, we could always make our other explorer officer have the smuggler background as well. And that might, that might be the best move yet. So, sorry, quartermaster, you're also fired. So, if we look at our ship, you can see our... We still have everything... 
going, but we do need some more officers. So let's go back to the crew menu. I know I don't typically do it this way, but okay, we have two officers. We're just, it's like that one, that one encounter really messed up everybody. So now we're going to have a big shakeup here. Um, let's go ahead and you'll be able to pick new talents for those provided by your crew's job. Yep. So I'm glad the retrain button is just nice and easy. But we are, in fact, going to go ahead and uh, promote. This will increase his salary. Congratulations. You actually, like I said, uh, you want to promote him to an officer? Yes. So we're going to train you, and this is going to be our new doctor combat medic. And the reason we're doing this with the pistolier is that he's going to be wielding a pistol pretty much the whole time. So we're going to want to get those uh, additional skills, but we're going to be training the doctor job first. At least up to level five. And we do want to get some more. How many more job points do we have? I'm ready to train plus three job ranks. Well, you are, you are pretty good here. So what do we have available to us that would work pretty well? Obviously, we need e -suture. That's a big one because that is our group heal. First aid is good just from a doctor test. Note that we uh, have a few other things to get. Another one that would be really nice, if I can find it, is bio poison slugs. This stacks with what our sniper is gonna be able to do. And we still have um, some more talents that we can get onto here. We still need some of the doctor talents, like first aid is good. Medical staff is good after all. This is, even though it is um, going to be someone who specializes in crew combat, I still want to have these saves available. So we do have a pretty high doctor skill. The more we pump this up, the more we will be able to um, get some other things. But we're going to get our crew combat thing up here as well because that pumps up our doctor skill and our pistol skill. And just like that, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good stats. He's a doctor now. Congratulations. Uh, special ops mech. That's, inter uh, that's interesting. We could do light body armor, which gives a little more deflection. Um, I, think, I think we will just do that. I mean, like I said, our goal is to upgrade our weapons locker eventually. But there's one. So there's one promotion. What did we say before? I'm not so big on you right now, but... When we get another job rank to promote, I think we're going to go back to um, Smuggler. Can I, can I learn my alphabet? I have to do the ABC song. But yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll do this just because it's, good, it's really good to have just some utility there. So the next thing we have is, well, your brother's dead. Maybe, or there's a bunch of Drevens. It's just, it's just not a good day. For the whole family here we want to replace sandy too eventually with an officer but we'll make do with this now let's go ahead and uh your talents your talents are okay i may retrain them later but i'm gonna go ahead and promote so we have another officer he has 23 strength and he's gonna be mainly in the front line but still we have swordsmen and there are two options here for what we can do but I do like Pistolier just because that gives some potential for like if he gets knocked back or moved somewhere else. And there, like I said, there's two schools of thought. One is we go with the, um, one of them is that we go with Bodyguard, which I mentioned before. But I think we're going to go with Assassin here and just follow a template that I had found here. Because Assassin, see, Bounty Hunter gives rifles, but Assassin gives blades. So we do want to level up our swordsman first, even though a lot of the one of the things that's really nice is that a lot of the talents that we have um, in this game, even the level one talents are like bread and butter, really good. So let's see if we can get. Let's see, five ranks of swordsmen. Let's do. Let's do some more. All right, talents. All right, so we're mostly focusing on swords and boards. So that would be really good. As I do see here, 
Doctors who cannot take a bullet need not apply. I'm sorry I just saw that, but it's I'm trying to shuffle around and use the same window here. So, hmm. So initiative talents are good. Buck yourself with three initiative. 15 critical, 15 parry for three turns requires a blade. So that would be really nice. And then in the Pistolier branch, we have Raining Steel, which is also on initiative. We're making initiative roll. Buff yourself with three initiative. Uh, 15 critical. So those are just free buffs. We have two more talents to spend. Sharp Counter. Successfully buff your attack with 25 parry, 10 armor, and counterattacks anybody in the front row. I've been screwed by that so hard with... Um, just when I've had opponents try to attack me that way. And then Devastating Charge. Which, you know what, I really like that. It only goes from the second slot, but it lets me uh, get back into the first slot. It reminds me of the Grave Robber in Darkest Dungeon. I really like an ability like that. So I'm feeling good about you. Let's hope that feeling is not misplaced. So we, we are up to how many officers now on our ship? We have four or five. We're gonna get an exoscout here. It's a little, it's a little sad that we've done all of this work to go all this way, and now we're just gonna have to turn around. But I did say before that I wanted to go back, and if we look back at our system map here, we've got this place that we gotta go, but we got a lot of missions between the Dark Void, Serpent's Gambit that I wanted to go to. Although unfortunately, we did lose some rep with some people that were kind of killing us. But I do kind of want to go actually do the exploration thing here. That would be really that'd be really nice. So let's go back here. Do we have any? Uh, okay, crew wants wages. That's fine. Um, I don't think we have anything that's going to be really great on the farming area. I guess these. I mean, the big thing is that we're just going to try and dump some stuff on the way out. So because I oh, you know what? I did that wrong. We're gonna go to the farming area here. We're gonna go to the wilderness up there. There is another farming planet up there, which is what I was thinking of. Um, mysterious fuel poisoning among crew. Well, why is that a failed command test? I guess part of that is the problem of getting rid of people, as we still need three crew. So that's one thing that we're gonna need to watch out for as we go around here. We have pretty much everything that we have right now is okay. We just need kind of some backup people for like talents, navigation savings things like that i'd love to be able to recruit like a doctor or something and i don't think we have i mean edible plants are fine but we we have other cargo that we're picking up i kind of want to dump what's our in our exploration here and just keep it moving so we are going to be going a little bit short on crew right now whoops but we'll, we'll survive so landing once again this is low danger Let's see if we can hit that explore button just a little more. Scavenger combat or pirates. You know, I'm going to walk away from this hand because I can't guarantee it. And we're just going to go ahead and pick up all of our stuff and roll out. Uh, once we get, um, and like I said, this is Meller or Melor is a really good place to come back to. Like I said before, it's kind of a unicorn for what's going on. Or it's it's kind of it's kind of like the ideal scenario for what we want in a exploration plan. Lots of opportunities to explore, lots of treasures to get, very little danger. So let's see what we have in our hold here: components, refinery, industrial, industrial. All right. Well, we can definitely sell some of this stuff between these two planets. Our recruitment's up here. It's one of those two. And um, yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of play this play this one out. So high tech industrial, we have the prince who's probably still sitting here saying, "Hey guys, you were gonna help me with this, weren't you?" Okay, so they don't apparently want electronic components. So maybe they just recently got sold to them, or they can't. Oh, we can't do the raw spice trade because they suck. Captain ship components. That's cute. 
luxury clothing. Well, we are going to one of those places next, so we might as well flip it. And if I remember right, the starport here... Oh, maybe maybe you have what we're looking for, too. The weapons locker number five. This is this is what we want. We, we might... Yeah, see, they don't have it. But other places... Other places will. So we're just back in our old, familiar wet blankets of the Jessamary Corridor. We have a smuggler, but it's our faction, so what's up? And we can just keep on going. Poorly supervised crew cause explosion. Guys, come on. 11 crew are injured. Come on. Economy, 22. Really good. Um... You see, here's the here's the issue is that we went from a few techs to a lot of techs here. I kind of want to recruit one of these just because they're pretty useful to have. And um, maybe a mechanic as well. But I'm going to keep two of these free. First off, because one of those is for an officer. But secondly, because if we come across um, something like... What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say here? If we come across, like, a specialist that will give us some really exciting crew options, then that's what we're going to take. So, for our crew here, we do have two officers that leveled up, and we have two newbies. And uh, for the E-Tech, so we have one hot wire, we have one signature jammer, we have no storm shield, and we really need that. And these guys are still not super high level. Actually, they start off as level one, so that is terrible. Um, what are you? Um, Dan Lamott, mechanic. All right, we have some of these. So we have a few repair tests. We have one of those. Maybe we don't really need a mechanic, but it's it doesn't hurt to have another saving thing here anyway. All right, other thing that I forgot to do is that we still have our yellow star team here. So Devon is there. Uh, Jean-Paul is going to be there. Drevon, by the way. And you just get another job skill. So we're going to get we're going to go swordsman up to level 8. Then we'll move up assassin. Pistolier is more level 1 just for that buff. And uh, Yelena did we say we were going to give you the smuggler job? I think so. I mean, it would be... If I was going full crew combat, I would definitely uh, ditch her and get rid of some other... Or get some other stuff, but... Uh, let's see. Smuggler skills. We do want hideout. I mean, as good as some of the explorer skills are... And we got our big ones. We got big ones with level 5. I think I missed out on... Oh, we can... We have a potential for getting a level 8 one here, right? No, she's level 7. So, we, whoops, I think I was originally planning on doing, like, level 8 and then... Let me scroll down to get to the Explorer. Level 8 and then one of these. Like, there's a lot of really good level 8 Explorer cards. But we need, we need some of the mission stuff. Like, Hideout, Hideout can save us. And I don't know... Oh, because we can't learn talents yet. It's like, why can I not click that button? All right. Now, do you guys have what I'm looking for? I think this place does. It does. If we had just won that one fight. But we'll be okay. We'll make it work. We can do a lot of kind of fast flipping and stuff to get our levels back up. Because even trading, sending money will get some stuff here. So political tensions running high. The Prince at Alpac has closed all Star Traders exchanges and all markets are shuttered. Well, that's lovely. So, the political unrest has closed the exchange. Well, fortunately, we can still recruit, right? Maybe? Possibly? Um, we need an exoscout officer and preferably one that doesn't suck. Maybe this time? Last time we went through how many people before we found one that worked. Uh, this could be... Uh, uh, I can't. I can't. I mean, I wish 
you are on a planet with a better military rating than three, because that's really influencing this, but we're just, we're just gonna do this. And if I could like, I could always get like something some other way, like if I could just get explorers and stuff. Oh, that's even worse. Alright. Sorry. It's like, you keep giving us garbage, people. What kind of value do you have as a content? And this costs personal rep every time, so... We're, dro we're just dropping ourselves back down here. This is the last, this is the last chance. Oh... You're super squishy. All your skills are going over here. 17 and 17 will have to do, though. So, jobs. Exoscout. And then what did we say before? Sniper. And what was it? It's probably Bounty Hunter. That seems right. And I'm sorry, I, I do like pulling up these references just because I do want to make sure that I get some of these things right. So that's why the sound is cutting off for just a second. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. Thank you for sticking with me and being a little bit patient. If. Uh, you're wondering, I just want to make sure, like I said, I don't want to have to keep uh, getting my people here, but we're just going to do train all the sniper. You don't get a lot of talents for being a sniper. We do have two talents to spend. And once again, this is a crew combat focus. So we're going to get this one. And we're going to get... Steady mobility to start with. And we're going to make sure the weapon that you're using, not heavy body armor. We're just going to go light for now. And we do have the sniper rifle. Like I said, level 3 is not bad, but we need a little better than not bad. Let's just make sure here you're still using your pistol, which is good. You're still using a sword, which is good. And our other uh, soldier down here is just using a shotgun, so that's fine. So, the exchanges are closed here. What I would like to do is, I guess, go up here. See if we can get any more missions to take us to the north. I mean, there's not really such a thing as north in space, I guess. But... We haven't visited you in a while. And you could give us missions to help people that uh, piss us off, so... So this one, this one could work. These guys already hate us. Four jumps, two jumps into the Cephas Abyss. Which way's that? I guess that's kind of where we're going if we're gonna just sneak around there. I kind of wanted to go up here. They still really don't like us, but it's it's okay. We'll we'll do we'll do stuff for our facer. That's fine. So the one thing is that we do need we do have two years to do this, so we're gonna have to kinda jump around a little bit, but it's fine. Every everything is fine, nothing is not on fire. We can buy explosives here again, because that was all very exciting. Uh, gas processors. Ten of those. What's really interesting is how much of this stuff is just not good for selling and demand right now. Advanced medicines, pop, luxury pop, trade away zones. I mean, that's a that's a really high margin stuff. Luxury clothing and electronic components. I feel like I just did stuff with that. Um, farming, mining, refinery zones. Well, we have some of that here. I mean, it's not the best in the world. 
but we can make it work. Alright, so we just dumped a lot of money out. And for your missions here. So I don't care about that one. I don't care about that one. I don't care about those, believe it or not. We have nine jumps to go ahead and start getting some little bits of payment here. Which is something I do want to do. Um, so we'll do the smuggling run here. We gotta get over to the abyss and then take it back to the dark void and then come back home. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and dump our cargo here. Uh, luxury population. They may not want these, but we're gonna try. And then mining and farming. We may not be able to sell those, but we'll try. We have a trade away zone in the next zone, I think. Been a little while since we've been over here. But screw it, we'll make it work. Worst case, we just sell it at cost. Oh my god, we're failing all of our tests. We have an explorer from a faction that doesn't like us. He's gonna call mommy. Let's bribe him. That's good. And they retreat. And we retreat. So gambling argument in a fight, poorly supervised crew cause explosion. Again. All these all these things just keep happening. Everyone is stupid. And we get to pay our crew and we get to repair our ship. And oh my god, they do not want these. And we can't sell these. So I guess we're gonna take these on over raw spice. Alright. Well, we do have a little R planet here. That's not the direction we want to go. But yeah, we're just running in some circles real quick, which is fine. There's a zealot. I hope the zealot doesn't try to shoot us because we are. Once again, same faction, I have a plus 150. So it's all very nice. Uh, bribe me, please. More bribing. We could surrender for inspection, but I don't know why they would be inspecting us. We're not hauling any illegal goods this time. So this refinery here. As we have our military commander, we're not really interested in doing military missions here so let's at least sell that the trade law is just a little too high here but if we go here we shouldn't have to worry about trade law there we go so now these are just population luxury population i think i know where we can take those but let's go ahead and call this one here this is asher this is going up on youtube as well if you may not have seen it before i know i promised crew combat but it kind of flamed and burned at the beginning so we've been building up our crew here uh next time we're going to be popping into the map a little bit more so i'll be back here for those of you watching on the stream back here in just a minute and uh otherwise thanks for watching see you soon